Hey guys, this video is for my friend. This is for my friend, Friday. I forgot your name, unfortunately, so I only call you by your channel name. I think your name started with Knight, but I forgot your full name. Let's begin. Remember that time at a live stream? I was trying to tell you about the Nidhogg person. The player named Nidhogg. I had explained about him or her in my last video here playing this obby game and then and then i tried to send you a link of that video i made a year ago or more than a year ago but the link wasn't working so i had to re-explain it with more details i managed to remember a few more details that i had never mentioned in my video as it was just a year ago i can't forget much about it it's not very easy to forget it just, when seeing Wildcraft, it always reminds me of that incident that happened. But since we're getting out of topic, I can explain a few things that happened to me in Wildcraft. The only creepy incident was the Nidhogg person. I had never tried the glitch at all and was too scared to try it. I didn't want anything bad to happen to my Wildcraft progress. So I just tried to stay safe and do nothing with that glitch. But he just came. I don't know why. But he doesn't like my friend. He doesn't seem to like her at all. Maybe that's why I tried to hack her. But I'm lucky I wasn't the one who got hacked. And by the way, something has happened. Something happened in Wildcraft. And I can't really explain it. I'm not allowed to explain it. But as soon as I get a new phone, I will be allowed to play in Wildcraft. And then... I will also be downloading Roblox on that other phone so I can also film. I can film role plays, and I can also do a few more things when I get a new phone. But it will take time because I need to get good grades in school in all of my subjects. However, there are a few subjects I'm extremely bad at, so I don't know what I'm going to do. I might fail those subjects, so I don't know if I can get a new phone or not. But, I don't know, maybe I can. I just have to try my best. But, well, you might not see me in Wildcraft yet. Next time when I finally get Wildcraft, I will tell you my name online multiplayer. And then you'll have to go find me in my server. I always play in USA server. Uh, the USA what? I forgot, sorry. I think the USA East server. I think that's the place I play in the most on Wildcraft. And on that USA East server, I like to play in the forest the most, but sometimes I like to go to other areas. There's a chance I would sometimes appear in the winter forest, but most of the time I would only appear in the forest, the wild plains. I think it's called the wild plains or the forest. I'm so sorry, I can't remember it well. And I also used to have the Christmas house, which had some nice Christmas music to dance to. I love the music there. And I also had the spooky house, or the haunted house. I forgot what it was called. And I still remember having that pink dragon. I forgot why I wanted the peach dragon. Maybe it was for my new favorite dragon movie? I don't know, but I really liked it. I like all the dragons, however. And then also, I remember having the Kitsune. It was just pure luck when I got the Kitsune, the Mystic Kitsune from a chest. I was so happy to have it because it looked so nice. Anyways, I remember my name must have been Olivia. Something like Olivia. Or if it's not Olivia, it must have been Olivia. Oh no, I forgot. Ah. <sighs> Why do I keep forgetting my Wildcraft name? I keep forgetting my multiplayer name. So maybe next time when I get Wildcraft again, I will check it out. I will try my best to check out my multiplayer name because I completely forgot it. But I remember it must have been starting with Olivia or ex Olivia Cats, like my cute cat and puppy world name. Who knows? I really forgot it. And I have a, a few progress in the ocean world the underwater world or whatever it's called 
I have a bit of progress there, but I still can't defeat the boss underwater. Also, I must remember, I'm sorry if I sound like I'm bragging. I'm sorry, but I also remember a few more things. Uh, I did get Wildcraft, Wild Club a long time ago, and I have two skins from Wild Club. It was also pretty fun to have Wild Club, but I eventually started getting bored of Wildcraft. It started to get boring. I don't know why. But now I wanted to play it again, but it's too late. I shouldn't have uninstalled it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have to go through all this. Yeah, I missed that game so much. But I can't play it right now because it's not allowed to be placed on my device. The purchase can't, purchase can't be restored on my device. So maybe when I get that new device, I'm able to restore all my purchases. Then I can try to friend you. You'll just tell me your name, and then we will meet up in my server. I'll try to play in the Wild Plane server, and I'll make sure to message you on YouTube, or find you in QCAD and Puppy World. I'll try to message you on YouTube, and tell you that I'm able to play Wildcraft already. Oh, just a quick announcement if you're still here. For a series on Gotcha, I'm planning to make a series plus a mini-movie. And I also want to make a new Talk Life World series. And I haven't been doing much with LPS. I've seen my old trailer, the LPS Purple Collie, and it was really bad. The plot was so bad. But I'm starting to improve, and I've decided that I should try redoing my Purple Collie. LPS Purple Collie mini movie. The old trailer was pretty bad, and I couldn't plan it much. I couldn't make the plot good, so... Now I've decided to start redoing it. I won't make a trailer, however, because I might forget all the plot lines. Everything about the plot might be forgotten. That's the disadvantage of making a trailer for me. Or I don't know, maybe there might be a trailer for it, but I'll try. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. And by the way... Something is happening in Adopt Me. The incident, I've put it in the description just to let you know. The link is in the description, but if you don't want to tap the link, I can explain it here. While you're still in this video, I can tell you. In Adopt Me, there's an exploit going on. Whenever you are training a pet, someone would send you a trade request. And then they put in a very good pet. For example... You're trading a fly red giraffe and adopt me. Then someone decides to trade you a mega fly red shadow dragon. And you thought, OMG, this is the best day ever. They put in a mega fly red shadow dragon. Then you put in a fly red giraffe. They also put in the sha a sandwich. Sorry, I meant sandwich. Beside the shadow dragon. They decided to also add a, a sandwich. Beside the shadow dragon. You pressed accept. They pressed accept. And then during the confirming window, you press confirm. They press confirm. Then suddenly, during the confirmation of the trade, they remove the shadow dragon. So you're left with only a sandwich. That's super duper bad. So all you got was a sandwich. And you wasted your fly red giraffe. Oh, there's also another bad incident. For example, you're trading a bat dragon, and then someone comes up to you and asks you if you would like to have a flex battle. You say, sure, I'd love to. They start first. They start flexing on you first. During the flex battle, they had to go first. And then, while they were going first, it was your turn. They said, your turn. You started putting your pets. Suddenly... The inventory was clicked, but you didn't click the inventory at all. So that's very bad. Then they would start taking all your good things. They would take everything good that you have. They will ex they will remove all their pets, then press accept with that exploit. They would control your device with their exploit, so you would lose all your pets. And if you try to leave, they won't let you leave the game. It won't be possible to leave or decline the trade. So you would definitely lose everything you have. And it's super duper concerning.
so I don't recommend trading for a while. Just try to stay safe from all the trading. Or to be more safe, use an alt account that doesn't have any pets. Hatch the starter egg, or if there is no starter egg, just ignore. If you hatch the starter egg on that alt account, you should give the pet to your main account. Then, trade the pet you are trying to trade to your alt account so that that alt account can go trade it. It's a slightly more safe method to trade and adopt me. But still, I don't recommend trading because there's a chance you would lose your pet. And plus, what if it's such a good pet, you would lose it. And imagine you worked so hard on that pet, but you lost it. That's why I don't recommend trading for a while. And I'll be checking Adopt Me's Twitter every single second. I would check their Twitter daily to see if it's safe to play Adopt Me and trade again. But people don't really listen. They're still investigating this type of exploit in Adopt Me. They're trying their best to investigate, but I don't see them investigating anymore. I don't know, just wait a few more weeks. I might announce if it's safe. I'll keep checking their Twitter account to check if it's still safe. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Thank you so much and goodbye.